probes that have gone to the moon or orbited it. There's even a laser reflector that was left on the surface. You can bounce a laser off of it today. Initiating laser on retro reflector from Apollo 15. This is a real experiment that can be conducted right now today to confirm that the reflector was left there. When you think about it, this is extraordinary. A laser is shot from Earth and makes a round trip of over half a million miles. The ultimate proof of man's moon mission. Oh, that's very cool. Now, we'll be able to see the beam when it leaves, but it won't be strong enough when it comes back to be seen by the naked eye. In fact, it's something that can only be picked up by the most sensitive of collectors, and hopefully, when we get that photon back, we'll see a spike like that. The spike. There it is. There's the spike. That's the return from Apollo 15. It's the moon. We hit the moon. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> That's your big experiment? <laughs> oh, that for a line on the screen? Dude, people are fucking retarded now. Like, the world's filled with literal idiots. Do you think a laser can shoot 240,000 miles? Now, it'll take much more sophisticated equipment than the average person has laying around. 100 billion times more powerful than this is. That's what you gotta have to make it to the moon and back. You're telling me you're on a ball going 1,000 miles an hour and hit a little mirror and it can bounce back and hit your little box and you go, wow, we went to the moon. You, you literally believe that. How do you believe that? Try and bounce a laser 1,000 yards and hit where you started. 1,000 yards. All right, can you ping the ping the reflector? There it is. That's what, like 500 meters away, would you say? 350. Okay, now try and do one mile. The fact that we can do this is the only way of definitively proving that there are man-made objects on the moon. Ultimate proof of man's moon mission. Lasers bouncing off of freaking reflectors planted on the moon's surface won't convince them. Nothing will. Take a minute and just think about how uh, a laser going a round trip of 500,000 miles on a ball spinning 1,000 miles an hour to reflect back to a box. And then they say that's proof that someone fucking played golf on the moon. It's fiction. It's lies. It's bullshit. No one went to the moon. You can't. There's no evidence whatsoever that anyone's ever been to the moon. There's actually no evidence that you can go to the moon. And this is the shit that distorts young minds. According to the conspiracy theorists, NASA did a shoddy job of pulling it off. Ridiculous. It looks stupid. It looks ridiculous and dumb. There's no way people went on the moon. There's no way. It's just laughable. It's held together by literal tape. Look at that. That is tape, Tim. That's space tape, bud. Simple scotch tape haphazardly placed here and there as if it were a last minute job other than the foil what is that what is that a twinkie no i'm sure it's some super important and necessary high-tech device look at the buckling warping and indentation there is no explanation for the sloppiness in the construction of the lunar module with the engines covered with aluminum foil the external panels not even lining up with each other and the scotch tape that seems added at the last moment just to keep together pieces that would otherwise fall apart and you can tell it's real because it looks so fake honestly you, you know there's got to be people that are like dude come on you can't you can't do tape foil on a car. No one's gonna believe that. Dude, like, there's people on, that lost it. their mind no when they saw, you they saw the yeah. lamb. When they looked yeah. at it, they're like, what? Yeah. What? He goes, yes. Yeah, you yes. ain't gonna believe it whatever we show them. They yeah. like it. They go, let's make yeah. it fucking ridiculous. Let's make it fucking ridiculous. Because it's almost humiliating, you know? <laughs> let's make it. Let's just show. Let's just like. Let's let's just convince these dummies of something so stupid, you know. Just to yeah, it's just rub dumb our, shit. Rub our, yeah, just to humiliate us. Are we truly to believe that NASA has spent all this money to send a vehicle covered with loose pieces of cardboard into space? The memo recommended, for example, arguing that a conspiracy of.